Here we are on the stream now. If you can see there we go got it so welcome guys to game number two between tato and tim this is now the final game for both of these players i believe because i don't think that either of them have a chance to make it into the top two position i might be wrong but uh yeah we'll see what this one goes like obviously it's still very much all to play for as these guys do want to at least finish top four and so to the northwest of the map, we have Tato in the blue playing as the Khmer. And down to the southeast in the red, we have Tim playing as the Saracens. Quite a lot of Saracens pickups in this uh, fourth and final game in round three here. Oh, sorry, second game in round three here. Well, all this civilization left, right? So it seems that uh, not so many choices. And now about the map, I want to, to point out the map. Look at that goal. Awful goal. Close to the to the wood, almost half back. The other one really far on the right side, some hill, and the last one on the left, really far as well. Super super forward and pretty open map. This is Ghost Lake. The bear is also forward. The only resources that are safe or safe, well, well located. Stone at the back, both, but one of them even so so far. Then we can switch to that point of view, and we can see goal at the back, not really far from the TC, so it's nice. A stone really. Close to the spot, berries as well, nice wood at the back, with some palisade on the right side. And on that forest where you can see the secondary, the secondary goal, you can wall till the edge of the map. Uh, he can make a nice base. So, in my opinion, Tatut has a better, better advantage with the map. And Khmer, we know that you, you don't need to build some buildings. I think he has he can get us some advantage in the early game. For the late game, that's, a, that's another thing. But now in the early game, I don't know what you think. He has the advantage here. At least it looks like. Yeah. Uh, sorry, guys. I made a mistake there. It's actually Tim, um, if he wins this game, does have a chance to actually finish in the top two. Uh, it all hinges on whether or not he can get the win, I believe. And... I think if Tim wins this game, he will actually be in the first position until Viper plays versus Nikov, and then one of those will be guaranteed to overtake him there. So apologies for that. Um, but yeah, so this is actually a really important game for Tim here because this could determine whether or not he actually gets to play in the final, uh, which is very big deal since the uh, first place player in this event will win $500, which is very nice. Not bad for a weekend's worth of work at all. Uh, if you could even call AOC work, that is. Um, but yeah, you were saying about the maps and Tato here potentially being able to do quite uh, something interesting with this Khmer uh, civilization and the fact that they don't need any buildings. He could go for a fast feudal and I think if he builds a wall in from this right hand lumber towards his TC, he can keep this back section of his map very secure, very safe. Um, let's see though, I mean, we've got Saracens for Tim and as we know, the Saracens don't have any early game eco bonus, so they're not gonna be saving any resources or gaining any advantage in economy from the Dark Age. Tato can save on quite a bit of wood by not needing to build a barracks. So this could actually launch him into a very nice fast feudal with some quick archers or some quick scouts. Well, it seems it's gonna happen. Both are with three villages on wood. Another good thing for Tato when he explore, because he wants to explore team base, but he's going in the wrong direction, is that the four deer is pretty close to the mill. So for, for his economy, for Tato economy, gonna be gonna be great. It's still, well, it's open map on the left. And uh, other than that, yeah, nothing much going on. Just three villages on wood. I think they will go scouts or another forward. I will go, if I were team, I would go forward. Well, after the success in the previous game, he might feel going forward again. I want to see. I want to see, but oh, he's doing a farm already, so it is possible. Or going to scout. Three, well, but, I feel like three bills on wood. He might not go forward here. And if we take a look at Tato, he's got three bills on wood as well. So maybe not early aggression and early forwarding. They're going to be later with the barracks. Neither player uh, building a barracks by the 6 minute 30 mark, which is pretty typical for three villas on wood. Even a second farm coming up for Tim now. So it looks like Tim might want to go into scouts here. Uh, I guess he could go straight into like a 23 pop archer flush. But as we said already, his gold's in a horrible place. And that's not going to be very safe to wall. Uh, it's not going to be easy to defend. 
he might end up just going straight into scouts as well. He's even pushing the deer in towards his TC now. And he hasn't even scouted Tato here. He's uh, scouted out the, the front. But if he was going forward or doing some super early aggression, we'd certainly ex expect to see his scout uh, buzzing around Tato's base. The same can be said for Tato, uh, I guess. He uh, didn't actually push any deer in, but he hasn't found Tim yet either. Oh, wait, no. Tell a lie. He's actually found the berries. So he does know where Tim is. Well, 21 population, and he's going to go up 22, Tato. Yeah, he's going 22. 22. Oh, second, yeah. yeah, 22 up. Second Lumber came up as well. I think he's going to go with standard. I don't think so. He's going to make a barrack. Tim. Depends what he want to do. Tim's Tato 22 team. up as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, both of them looking very similar at the moment. Tim with the advantage in the deer, actually, as uh, Tato hasn't bothered to, to take them at the moment. He hasn't pushed them towards his TC or anything. Uh, Tim now also coming out to scout Tato a little bit later, but he's going to take he, some he damage forward. from the TC. He's going forward. He's oh, unbelievable. Wow. That. He's, he's going, going forward. forward man. Yeah. He's okay. going forward with four villages. That's crazy. Two farmers, four villages on wood on each lumber camp. So it's, it's a nice economy and it's smooth. Five villages, not four. Five villages forward. He's going all in, man. All in. Going all in. That's crazy, really. Sending five villages and he's going to make what? Because he's not mining gold, not mining a stone. He's going to go just barra carty ranges forward, maybe? I don't believe uh, that. I don't believe that. I can't believe he's coming forward like this. He's on, not man. taking any stone. So I don't think he's going to be building many towers. He might go for the one tower and then build his buildings at the front. But he doesn't even have a barracks up yet. And you'd think he'd be looking for a barracks. But obviously, he can't build it on the ice. He's actually going to build it over on Tato's side of the map here. And this is ballsy play from Tim. But this is, like, quite costly if this goes wrong. And it can very easily go wrong when you come forward like and, this. Yeah. And the problem here is Tato is doing right away the stable. Doesn't need the barrack. And look where the barrack it is. It might if Tato to spot it. Spot it, he's not doing. But if he spot it... Uh, Look how much the spears from Tim will have to walk to go to his base. And if he's sending a scouts at home to, to team base, Tatot might do a lot of damage. Anyway, yeah. RT range forward there. Can see Tatot that he's coming? No, he still doesn't see it. I actually, well, think Tato, I actually think Tim has made a huge mistake by building the barracks forward like this. I think he should have yeah. built it at home because, uh, home. like as you say, Tato with the, the scouts, he can counterattack this. And Tato, uh, Tim's going to have no defensive spears. Scouts are so easy to counter with spears, but... You know, it's not going to happen if the barracks is halfway across the world. Uh, Tim, though, with the tower, as expected, he will build one. I think that's going to be it for the time being. And then the question is, what does he do with the forward vills? He's going to have to keep them working. Otherwise, that's five idle villagers right there. Tato running back towards his TC. He's pushed away from the deer, which is less than ideal. And I think he probably regrets not pushing them in earlier on now. But uh, at least he keeps the villagers safe for the time being. And uh, no counter tower from Tato here, surprisingly. But he is taking stone, actually. Well, to be honest, since he's completely wall, he's walling on the right side. Now he's doing some houses. He just uh, leave the uh, give away those those berries. But other than that, he's safe, completely safe. He has gold, he's stone at the back. He's not getting harassed. And if he's just protecting all his base, he can save the scout. The scouts are there, but team has wall. Ay ay ay! Team has wall everything already. For that, he doesn't need the spears. Man, I feel bad with myself. How we can doubt about? Skills from team to wall in. He wall all the resources, the wood and the uh, the food. Well, the berries are exposed, but now the problem is what damage he can do team now. Yeah, Archie range forward, but Tato two villages on a stone. He didn't put like five villages, so his economy is not gonna suffer, and he can defend properly. Tato can make already like two towers. He's walling completely. He's he's so safe, really. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, actually, Tim, I, I think, okay, he's protected the wood villagers, but he can't send any more villagers out there. His berries are still exposed. I, I feel like, you know, he can't keep his villagers in the safety of his TC forever. Tato would find something if he's kept his scouts around. He's actually bringing his scouts home now, and maybe he'll look to f try and kill the five villagers that came forward to the deer. Um, but the problem is... 
Tim does have Spearman at his base. So maybe Tato will have more success fighting Tim. And yeah, I think I was I was right on that because he's actually sending the five scouts over to Tim now. And I've got no doubt he'll find or at least de uh, deny the berries from Tim here. There's no way Tim can, can wall that up in time. He should be able to kill one villager, actually. This guy here should, should be going down. And that's pretty nice for, for Tato. And he can deny the berries. He can stop more villagers moving out to take the wood. Uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, he's killing the bullies. Actually, I will stay all the time there. Since you don't see that he has any spear, what to stay at home? He's completely safe uh, at, on his base. I still don't understand why he's not doing towers. Now he's doing the first tower. There you go. He has still have 190 stone. And on his base, he's surrounded with five scouts. Come on, man. Tato can see the stone. Yeah, he can see. So go there and even try to keep hitting the palisade. Sometimes you make mistakes. Also, the overchop with the village on the wood, it might be almost there, you know? Oh, 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 and now, and now, there, there you the go. Stone. The stone, come on, man, kill the village, that he thought. And there you go, he's denying the stone, and still not a single spear there from Tim. Weird play here now by Tim, I don't know, but at least a couple of spears. He's gonna kill it or not? Uh, no villagers. Kill that? No, he didn't, ay, ay, ay. Yeah, no villagers going down. Tim has one spearman now back at home. But look at Tim Zico, it's look, looking a little messy. Now it's interesting to me because Tim actually built a mining camp on the stone at the front and he could have just gathered the stone there. He also built one at home as well. So he was gonna take a lot of stone, which is uh, maybe a little bit overkill. These five villagers on the front will build another tower, start denying the stone of Tato here. And so far, Tim's eco, uh, sorry, Tim, Tim's uh, military haven't been able to achieve anything at all. But with more towers, maybe Tim can start to uh, pressure the farms of Tato a little bit and annoy him a little bit more. But still, Tato's looking pretty safe back here. Not got to worry too much about the army of Tim. And meanwhile, he's still looking to do things with his uh, scouts. As the member said about overchopping, these villagers are pretty close to taking the trees Almost. down. And oh, he's gonna find a villager. Nope, she's gonna get in the CC. I don't understand, Zach, why he, why Tato let uh, let him to make another tower denying the stone. Really, he has a stone in the, in the bank, 130. He has a stone to make a tower. Uh, I don't know. He's letting him advance a bit. Still, will borrow on the way. He has a solid economy now with 42 population, team 47, but. Really, really low economy. He's going, he's still going with the scouts. The thing is, uh, people in the chat can see that he's not killing a lot of villagers, but he's getting a lot of idle time with the villagers. A lot of time, uh, those villagers went going to the stone, then go back. Now with with those villagers on gold, the scouts are, are doing that, are doing the job. Of course, they could kill more and more units, but oh, oh, he's going inside, all in, all in. But, well, he has the flight, the fletching now, so he need to make a house. Tato, he need a house in the last He's second. There you go. And another one. He's going to keep Tim uh, out. Yeah. Tim's taking a to lot of damage center. from the TC. Very nicely wow. quick walled. Uh, very, very good job, because otherwise that could have been pretty bad if those units got into his wood line. And also, I think Tato wanted to hide the archery ranges from Tim. Tim is probably thinking that Tato is going to click to the castle age here and might not be expecting him to make archers already. Of course, Tato will click to the castle age in just a moment. But if Tato can counterattack with these archers, that's going to be huge. There's, what, two spearmen here? There's a bunch of villagers palisaded into these um, lumber lines and into the, the gold. And although the scouts can't damage this, the archers will. And so Tato is really looking to get that counterattack in there. He's building a market at the back right now, and then he'll click to the castle age in just a moment's time. Um, so this is looking very nice for... Tato. In fact, he doesn't need the market even, but he's going to build it anyway to maybe redistribute still, a little bit. Yeah, still it is really good to have and Juicy Mayan, if he's not doing the market, he's on the way to Castle H barely have gold. He has, still, he has 700 wood. When he's going to be in Castle H, he can get 1,400 or something. He will yeah, have a lot. Sell some so he can, yeah, he can use to sell some wood and really, if he's sending the arches now forward to the goal, team goal, yeah, yeah, he can do a lot of damage. Well, he's doing towers. Yeah, he delayed two two farmers tattooed. But now he's he's fine. He's he's just fine. He has another tower close to the TC. It's really important. If he's sending the arches, but he's not sending any arches. He he could go behind that uh, that lake, that ice, go around. I know that he will need some time and make a lot of damage on the, on that goal. Maybe he's waiting for Castle H. I don't know, but he's not sending anything. 
Well, he'd certainly and, do uh, a lot more damage with crossbow, yeah. and maybe he wants to kill Tim's army as well, in which case he could just save up the archers, wait for crossbow, and then take it head on. Either way, I mean, I was expecting the tower from Tim on the front here a lot earlier than it came. Uh, he will deny some farming from Tato, but Tato doesn't need that much food income right now to do double archery ranges. He's also got enough resources to put a new town center up straight away once he hits the castle age. So I've got no doubt he'll look to maybe put that on the right side, uh, near to this tower and the gold perhaps. But definitely once he gets to the castle age, he's ready, wants to get ready to push out straight away. I've not checked his blacksmith much, but I imagine he's done fletching and um, plus one defense padded archer armor already. So yeah, I, I'm looking forward to seeing how Tato plays plays this he's actually not done the archer armor but with crossbow coming in it's gonna be pretty nice and another counter tower on this top side to prevent tim from pressuring him too much here still i mean this house is gonna go down pretty quick and tim uh, sorry tato might need to deal with that before going across for the counter attack here Nah, he has the tower on the way. I think he's he still need to use the market. He's using the market heavily, I would say. Look at this. He got no gold. He's doing the botkin arrow. He's doing the crossbow upgrade. And now going to attack. Yes. Nice. Wow. He can make a lot of damage with those arches. And this game, guys, is super important. Like Zach said before, if team is losing this one, oh man, his chances to go to the final. And yes, guys, don't worry in the chat. The next game is, yes, the Viper versus Nikov is going to happen really soon. But now we're still with the fight in this one. 58 population Tatito and team 62 about to go up to castle age but those arches and look i love this he put the scout just in the moment there so he GG. cannot escape <laughs> he cannot escape gg exactly love man it. wow amazing great move by tato yeah. great man wow very for that i was hyped for, for that i was hyped when i saw the scout well he trapped completely his villages and over wow piper versus nikov guys relax <laughs> amazing <laughs> it's man. Coming. amazing it's coming. job yeah, Tato here with the counter tower in the top, like, that was so crucial. If that tower didn't go up, then Tato would have had to deal with this army from Tim. So that tower could have been the difference between winning the game when he did now and winning the game 10, 15 minutes later. That was so pivotal for Tato, uh, really. And and the fact that Tim was so aggressive with all of his forward units and, and that allowed Tato to just counter attack, as I said before... All it takes is the ranged units to come onto these gold mines and onto these uh, Zach, wood, uh, wood piles, and that's it. It's gone. Do you have something for a new statistic in your achievements? Team, you need to kill zero. <laughs> really? Didn't kill, didn't kill, checking the achievements. Nice. Didn't kill a single unit in the game. With well, a lot I of mean... army, 25 largest army, zero unit kills. Tato didn't lose a single unit. I don't remember. I mean, if That's it's amazing. a eight minute, if it's an eight minute game like that back to loss, it can be possible. But in a game that you reach castle age, zero unit kills. Come that, on, man. That is amazing. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. It's just, zero, zero, guys. It's zero. You know why zero is in, in the air? Stay tuned. This. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's so good. And also, Tato with the villager high, even after um, being up to the castle age before Tim as well. That's super nice. Anyway, uh, we've got Nilfa's analysis in just a second. <laughs> oh, I can't believe zero units killed. That was a, a, a horrible, horrible this is, game. This is him. rigged, man. This is it's your, it's your influence, Zach. It's your influence, I'm telling you. It might be. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. But, okay, uh, we're going to go ahead now and... Uh, Pass it to Nilford, <laughs> so we'll see you in a minute. Zero kills by Tim. Like Mav said so beautifully. And yeah, perfect game here by Tato. How did that happen, guys? Um, we have Tim going for forward here. And what did he scout of Tato? Um, not so much, I would say. Not so much. And... Yeah, he even pushed the deer, and he didn't sheep scout at all. Yeah, Tato got two of his sheep, but still, he had a similar map on Valley earlier today, and he just built a defensive tower at the gold, and he could have, like, house walled that, that's an easy wall, and then we have a reasonable map to play. I think just going for blind aggression here isn't really the thing that he needed to go for, especially look at the map of Tato. We have such an easy wall here. Like, he bought that area, has an easy wall over here, 
and yeah then we're at, here, uh, at the top here all the walls and here's a nice area wood, double wood double gold stone some of the berries and uh, look all good and as you can see tim's aggression not achieving a single kill here and now we jump into the co-main event of the evening the viper against nikov 